the atmospheric antenna. So an atmospheric antenna is like, um, uh, uh, yes, it's like uh, those uh, big poles that, uh, or like those antennas you can find on buildings too, to protect the building uh, from, uh, fr from thunder strikes or from storms. Well, uh, when you put those uh, big poles with wires uh, in the field, you will see that uh, it will collect atmospheric electricity and it will help to the plants growing all around uh, in the field. Uh, with like, for example, three to five poles like this, you can uh, treat a whole hectare of land and increase dramatically the, the, the growing uh, process of the plants. Uh, this was already known in 1783. Uh, there are books uh, like Electricity for the Plants from Abbe Bertolon. Um, uh, it's a very interesting book. Uh, but you have also the research of Fester uh, Poulain, director of the Agricultural Institute of, of Beauvais in France in 1893 with a lot of uh, information, research, uh, test uh, experiments they did with those kind of uh, atmospheric antennas. And improved over the years, they developed uh, um, uh, uh, always better and better atmospheric antennas to uh, increase plant growth. So, you have my versions, uh, for example, but you can also use a very simple one with just uh, pieces of wire, uh, uh, but you have also more sophisticated ones. For example, here below on the left, you see uh, corn. Uh, you have one corn uh, here that was the control uh, plot. And at the right, you have two corn, uh, two corn ears from uh, the plants in the treated field. So you, it, 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 had, it had doubled the yield of the corn in, in that field with those antennas. That was an example. There was also a research uh, uh, in, a, in a French university of pharmacology uh, from with uh, Martine Querelle in uh, 84. And um, she observed that the dry weight of the plant, like a mint, had 20% more dry weight. So the plants were bigger, but also more dense. And, uh, and, and for example, on Datura, they, she had 30% more uh, dry weight. And the essential oil content was also a lot more. And this gives the idea of the nutritious, nutritious content, the nutrient content in the plants. And on mint, it was 27% more, and on datura, 57% more. So it's really a huge difference. It's not only uh, two, three, or five percent, no, it's uh, more than 20% more uh, essential oil content. Here we have uh, Justin uh, Christophe Lowe. Um, so Justin Christophe Lowe is really a, a major inventor, pioneer in those electroculture techniques. For, for me, he, he, he would have got the, the, uh, a Nobel Prize for agriculture if, if I have to decide it, because he is really a major inventor and he, he showed all the possibilities you could do and he, he, he really dramatically increased the yields uh, at, at a lot of places all over the world with his techniques. Uh, he was known uh, to, uh, to Australia, New Zealand, uh, uh, China, uh, um, Germany, France, and that uh, it was before World War II. It was not in the years of internet like today. Uh, it was really, uh, he had huge results. And the title of his book is interesting because on, on that old moment, uh, he, he, he wrote it, suppression of all nitrates so uh, the chemical fertilizers and other chemical fertilizers so he 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 is convinced that with those techniques he can suppress he can uh, um, he can replace all uh, chemical fertilizers so it's very very interesting and this was already proven in the 20s 30s 40s you see uh, you see me uh, on the picture in my garden with a flower that is normally never as high, but here with an antenna that was close uh, to me, 
uh, that uh, flower of, of Lupin, uh, named Lupin in, in France, uh, was like uh, uh, one meter 70 high and one meter 40 width. It was really very big. This is also a plant that is uh, used uh, to produce um, grains with a high protein content in Germany. Um, so Justin Christophe Lowe, you see him on the picture with giant leek uh, with his techniques. You see also a picture with the tree and a, a big pole of six meters, 25 high. He show how to use it to, uh, to fertilize a tree. Um, you see also a schematic on the field with north south because those techniques are there are certain techniques uh, are um, interesting to install uh, in the direction of the earth magnetic field because uh, they act like collectors and amplificators of the earth magnetic field and then we put like wires north south in the field for example and connect them all together to one or more antennas.